Good morning, my dear friends. Thank you for joining me today. I've got some coffee. Um, little after New Year's. I hope your New Year's is going amazing. <clears throat> I had every intention of, as you may have watched my other videos, I had every intention of posting a really big splashy candle review on Christmas Eve and then several afterwards. I was actually going to be out of town in Ohio, um, but I had plans to record them before I left. And then Southwest happened to me like it happened to many other people around the country. And in the chaos, those videos were not created and it didn't happen. So I got to Ohio um, via a rental car and was there for about a week and a half. I am back now and I'm gonna share with you a couple of the things that I wanted to um, share with you over the last week. I hope everything has been going great for you, all of your holidays, etc. I've got beautiful, bright, shining sun here in Virginia, um, so I'm a happy girl. Before I left and before Christmas, I was at Whole Foods and they had several holiday candles from the company Patty Wax. Um, and I went ahead and picked them up because they were a very good discount, very good price. And I thought that they were very nice candles to smell. And I intended on sharing them with you before Christmas so that you could take advantage of that sale. Um, but I was at Whole Foods two days ago and they are on even a better sale now. And they have a lot of these holiday candles left, at least at my local Whole Foods. Obviously you're gonna have to check your own, but they're all 50% off. Um, and so I definitely wanted to go ahead and give that belated review to you. So if you're not familiar with Patty Wax, Patty Wax is a relatively new company. They were, I believe, started up in like 1996, 95, something like that. So relatively speaking, fairly new. They are kind of a craft um, candle company from Nashville, Tennessee. They came of age in that craft wave, you know, like of the craft beers and the hipsters and whatnot. Um, they're, from what I can tell, one of their most original lines is the apothecary line, which are these little amber old school um, old fashioned apothecary jars. And the scents tend to be very herbal and very earthy. And that went along with, I think, the apothecary motif. For my money, that is still what they are best at, which is the earthy and the herbal, and it leans a little bit masculine at the same time. Obviously, they have a lot of other vessels and a lot of other lines now. I believe one of their most successful to date is that they have actually a national parks line of um, candles for each one of the national parks. And I've seen it in a lot of places, a lot of retail spaces, and it's still available, which tells me it's probably a really good seller for them. And it's so within their culture as a brand. Um, uh, Patty Wax tends to use a lot of clay, a lot of ceramic, a lot of glass, but they also have other um, things that they're working with as well. And they have even been um, putting out a lot of softer lines now. So I, I just saw them at Bath, uh, Bed Bath & Beyond um, and they're actually just a lot of places. They obviously have a website presence as well. Um, they're on Amazon, Macy's, etc cetera, etc cetera. whole foods carries a lot of their candles even on a regular basis so not just for holidays regular basis patty wax has a really strong presence at whole foods so if there's one near you it's a really great great place to go check out the candles smell them etc i'm really excited about patty wax i've only burned maybe one or two of their candles they burned really well um I'm not sure about strength and throw yet. That's a little bit um, still a question mark, um, but their scents are amazing. Their niche is amazing in terms of their um, culture. I tend to like masculine and more earthy scents, and so Patty Ox is right up my alley. And I think that they're a real company to watch. They're innovating a lot um, and uh, trying a lot of things, getting, a bigger presence with each passing year. 
So I, I think that they are hopefully a company that is really going to um, make a splash going forward. Okay, so the two candles that I picked up from their holiday line, they had, um, as many candle companies do, three holiday scents, one of which was like a tree fragrance, balsam, fir, or whatever it was. Um, it was still there at Whole Foods. I didn't pick it up just because while it was good, it was pretty basic, and I think we all have like a million tree scents, so I just went ahead and passed on those. The two this year from Patty Wax that I thought were really great, and I think that they do come back on a yearly basis, is Honey Roasted Chestnut and Crushed Cinnamon Amber. And I think that this last one, Crushed Cinnamon Amber, is really the best in show um, for the three of them. So I picked these up before the holiday season. They were like, I think, I want to say that they were like in the $15 range. These are five ounces and really nicely, they actually have two wicks. So they're going to burn really great and they're going to give you a really nice burn. After Christmas, I went ahead and picked up, um, because I loved the crushed cinnamon and amber so much. I went ahead and picked this up. This is actually a three wick and it's this beautiful kind of mercury glass ish. And this is a 14 ounce, a 14 ounce. I loved it. I would have picked honey chestnut up in the same thing, but they only had small ones of roasted chestnut. Um, and these are one wicks here. And this is a 6.5 ounce. So, and I even have the receipt here. Um, for this large um, cinnamon 14 ounce, it was $16.97. So 17 bucks for a 14 ounce, which isn't bad. Patty Wax is less expensive than like a company like Nest, but definitely more expensive than a lot of candles. And you're paying for packaging. I do love these tins though. It's kind of like this Norwegian Scandinavian motif, which is so sweet, but also classy and cute for Christmas. And it carries, it carries to the winter or fall seasons that kind of flank it, which I really like as well. So let's get into the scent and I'm gonna start with Crushed Cinnamon Amber because for me, that was my favorite. If you know me, you know Amber is everything and this is an Amber candle. So I couldn't find details on this particular um, scent because I believe Patty Wax has it exclusively to Whole Foods. So it wasn't on their website. Um, and I think that Whole Foods is the only place that you can get them. And the only information that is on the actual packaging is that it is crushed cinnamon and amber. I can tell you that it is mostly amber forward. It's an amber forward candle that is um, really soft, cozy. It gives you that like very cashmere kind of presence. It might have a little bit of vanilla in it. Um, in terms of the cinnamon, the cinnamon that is here is underneath. So it's, it's a supporting cast um, note and it's very dry and very soft. So don't think red hot here or candy cinnamon. This is like a dry baking cinnamon, which I can get behind, especially if it's supporting cast. And honestly, it's just providing a little bit of bite, a little bit of sharpness to the amber fragrance. It kind of, um, it, 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 it solidifies, no, solidifies is not the right word. It just makes the amber come forward in a little bit more of a robust manner. Amber has the tendency, and I love amber, to kind of be a little bit lugubrious, i.e. It, it just kind of fills your space and it's like liquid, etc. It's not like a contained, sometimes really sharp fragrance. And the cinnamon here is just allowing it to be more poignant in a way. I wouldn't say that cinnamon though is like the strongest note here. So if you're not a cinnamon person, it does say crushed cinnamon and amber, but it's really like amber with a little tiny bit of cinnamon. Because this is amber vanilla forward, this is a candle you definitely wanna burn in January, in February. It would look really great. Um, and it's just gonna be cozy and amazing and sweet. So I highly recommend this crushed cinnamon amber. Check it out, check out your local Whole Foods, see if they're 50% off, which is the 
best way to um, begin your experience with a candle brand for sure. All right, so roasted chestnut, honey roasted chestnut, I apologize. In the store, when I smelled this, I really liked it a lot. And I was just picking up a lot of really good spice. Now that I get it home and I'm not overwhelmed by all of the smells in the store with the other candles, etc., I think this is actually an apple candle, which is kind of weird because it's honey roasted chestnut. It's a very nice and soft spiced apple, but it is like a spiced apple, I think. Because there is a sweet fruity element, if I'm not, if my nose is not mistaken. So this is just a really nice soft um, spiced apple. I would have loved a little bit more nuttiness to it, given that it is honey roasted chestnut and not apple, but I still think it's really lovely. So check that one out as well. Um, I, if I didn't mention it, these are soy wax candles and from the website, it seems as though most of their candles are soy blends. So um, that is patty wax for you. And then I have um, a little bit of a bonus candle. So this candle was not a holiday one, but they had it 50% off and they had many of their candles 50% off. Whole Foods actually does that quite a bit to just clear out some of the retail space get in new retail, et cetera. So sometimes you can get a really good deal on these like artesian candles in a place like Whole Foods rather than a dedicated candle shop because they don't care so much about the candles, they're there for the groceries. And so they just will sometimes very callously be like, get this stuff out of here, 50%, which is great for us, right? Okay, so I have another candle company here that is a true mom and pop company from Medina, Ohio, small town, Ohio. Um, and this candle company is Root, R-O-O-T, as in rooted in the ground. Um, Root Candle Company, and I've known them for a while because I'm an Ohio girl, so I'm rooting for them. See what I did right there? Um, the Root Candle Company is a mom and pop company. I think they're a fifth generation family company. They've been doing these candles in Medina since like 1869. Um, the big um, selling point here for Root Candles is that they are a beeswax company, which is somewhat rare at this point. Beeswax, and I did notice that um, recently they've gone to like, <clears throat> at least for many of their candles, a beeswax soy blend. Um, they actually had beekeeping in Medina way back when, and that's that's this was just kind of like an adjacent um, industry that sprang up alongside the beekeeping. And for a long time, the root company actually did keep a lot of bee husbandry in their particular like um, company. Uh, spread. I don't know that they do a whole lot of beekeeping now, but they're obviously very close to the bee industry. And in their regular candles, um, the lids all have like um, a, a um, beehive motif. So they try to have like a certain like bee motif even in their packaging. Um, but uh, Root Candles is mainly known for their unscented taper candles, which the quality is like second to none for sure. And they've been doing that for years and years and years. They have started to do though in this last like probably 40, 50 years, they've started to do these scented candles. And I think that they're trying to really expand it a great deal. So they started showing up in Whole Foods stores. I noticed maybe about five or six years ago, I started seeing them. Mainly they were just the little votives. They were like cellophane wrapped, et cetera. And I bought a couple of them. Um, but I'm also seeing their regular candles now at Whole Foods. And I even saw one at um, Wegmans grocery store here in Charlottesville, Virginia the other day, which is kind of another upscale grocery store. So Root is making some moves in terms of their scented candles. Um, expect a very good burn on the root candles. They have a certain line, they have many lines of scented candles. Definitely check out their website and they're also on Amazon. Um, this particular line is um, the, I think it's called Finding Balance. Finding Balance is the line and it's like nine or 10 like rainbow colored candles. And given the balance motif, 
with um, the colors. I'm thinking they're going for like root for chakra um, colors in terms of the balance, the centers of energy in your body, etc. Although that's not listed here. So this is one of the containers here. I picked up, they're all 50% off at Whole Foods right now. Um, and let me look at my receipt here. That makes it about $15, okay? And this is a 6.5 ounce. Um, so this was just the cardboard container, but let me show you the actual candle here. And this is Empower, looks like this, okay? The Empower scent in this particular line. So the two um, scent notes that they give here is Lavendin and Patchouli. And I looked on their website and they don't give any other details in terms of the scent notes. So, Lavendin and Patchouli. So, Lavendin, and here I'll just give you the, so you can kind of look at the Lavendin and Patchouli. The la Lavendin, if you're not familiar, is very similar. It's in the same family as Lavender, um, but Lavendin is sharper and more poignant and a much stronger scent than Lavender, although it's a very similar smell. And whereas lavender is associated with like relaxation, lavender actually is more of a stimulant. So it gives you energy, which is why it's in this candle in power. But otherwise it's like very similar to lavender. It just means it's got like a bigger presence. Um, so this scent is everything. And I smelled all of the rainbow colors that were there. And believe me, Far and away, this was the best of all of them that they had there at that particular Whole Foods. Um, there were one or two that were a little on the cloying artificial side. Many of them were just too faint. You know, you smelled it and you're like, I can hardly smell this, or it was like super basic, etc. This was for sure the best in show of all of them. And I know this because when I picked it up, um, the Whole Foods guy who was stocking, restocking all the candles was like, oh, that's my favorite of all of them. I said, well, objectively, it's like the best one for sure. So this has a super robust um, scent profile to it. Um, and it's so well blended that you can't really say, oh, here's the lavender, here's the patchouli, here's some other element. It's so well blended, it's just punching through as its own individual scent. If you're not a patchouli person, don't be terribly concerned about this because I'm not really pick picking up on anything patchouli-like. But the top notes, there's immediately a sweetness and a lavender sharpness, like a, like a botanical herbiness right off the top. And that's like the very first thing that you encounter and it's it's in the top notes. So it's light and it's sharp and it's like punching through right here. And then below it, you have this really plush, lush, like muskiness, earthy muskiness, which is I think probably the patchouli, although I'm, I'm not getting like a real dirtiness here at all. It really just feels more like, like a nice deep musk but it's blended so perfectly with the lavender that it becomes like its own scent. It's neither musk nor lavender. It's just something, you know? I would say, and given the reviews that I've seen online and what this Whole Foods guy said too, I would say that this is actually a little bit of a mass appeal candle. I think everyone's gonna like this. Even if you're not a musk person, even if you're not, you don't go any kind of direction toward patchouli, etc. This is so great. And it's 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 not so strongly in that masculine-ish or um, very like uh, granola earthy category that it's just not gonna appeal to everyone. This is such a pleasing, fragrance it like purrs right it's pleasing it's purring it's like velvet like in its qualities I just think it's fantastic it's fantastic and of all the candles there it was it was definitely one of the more robust um candles in terms of the way that it came forward so I'm hoping for a fairly strong scent there this is a one wick and it's got a wood wick a la Woodwick. 
the candle company. Um, I'm a little worried about the wood wick, to be honest, because I've always kind of thought that they're a little bit more gimmicky and more trouble than they're worth. And I did notice that in the reviews, um, there were complaints about burns on these candles. And it wasn't about the wax. The wax is fine and perfect, but that it was the wood wick that just wasn't staying lit. So I really think, I mean, it's cutesy, but I really think they, they don't need this wood wick. Um, it doesn't lend anything to this particular line aesthetically. And I would say that for all candle companies, please indulge with caution that whole wood wick thing because it's just in my experience, it's more trouble than it's worth. So um, minor caveat on that, but definitely check out the um, uh, root candle selection going forward at Whole Foods. And especially now when it's 50% off, um, and definitely check out all of those different flavors, scents, colors. For me, Empower was objectively the best one of the bunch, but maybe you're going to have a different take. Um, definitely something to check out going forward. And um, as I said, the Root Company is really expanding their offerings at places like Whole Foods. So I think we're going to see more from them going forward for sure. That's all I've got for you right now. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, if you've got a Whole Foods um, close to you, definitely run into the store and see what they've got. I will see you later.